and know what this live is about. Uh, I just made a promise that on Christmas Day I would put up a live stream for anyone that is lonely at Christmas, just so that you had someone to talk to. Now, I'm not really expecting people to show up to this live, and if no one shows up to this live, then that's a good thing to me. Like, this isn't about views, this isn't about watch time. This live is just me going to leave my phone running, well, just under an hour, till three o'clock, that's when my food's ready. Just in case anybody does have anyone to talk, does want anyone to talk to. If you're watching us on a replay, I wouldn't bother. Um, there's nothing really to view here. If people don't join within a couple of minutes, I'm going to go off doing my daily tasks and I'm just going to keep nipping back just in case somebody joins. Oh, I can see there's actually people here now. One second, I've got to pass them on their phone. Okay, I'm back, I'm back. Oh, look, there are people here. What are you guys doing here on Christmas? How are you? How is everyone? So for those that have just joined on here, this is nothing special. This is a live just for those people that are alone at Christmas to join and have a conversation with us. That's literally all this is here for. There is nothing in the works. I just don't think that anyone should be completely alone at Christmas. It's been a rough year and we can all talk with each other. So you don't even have to be talking to me guys, talk to each other in the chat. I'm gonna keep this going till three o'clock. I'm just gonna be doing my daily things. I'm just gonna sit here, puff on my vape, and just chat rubbish. Just in case anybody needed someone to talk to, just in case somebody needed that little Christmas boost. So tell me about your day guys. How is it going? Those that are here, are you having a good Christmas? Oh, Merry Christmas, Kathy. I know you're not alone for Christmas, but thanks for popping on anyway. So, yeah, everyone's good. What did people get? Tell me about your gifts. In fact, while you're looking into that, I'll show you some things I got. Hi, Philip. Hi, Scott. Um, I'm not actually on my own this Christmas. No, I've got... Uh, with my mum and brother i just wanted to dedicate uh, up to an hour's time for those that are lonely i'm perfectly fine and because i'm fine i want to give some of my time to those that might not be so what did i get for christmas i was very lucky this year i got um, got my tarantula socks so oh hi everyone else that's joined sorry the comments are a bit delayed today now look at this You can't go wrong with tarantula socks, right? Oh, thank you. <laughs> what else did I get? What else did I get? I got uh, an entire tray's worth of beans and sausages because I live like a student. I'm not a student. That was pretty funny. Um, Oh yes, I got this lens here, this macro lens for my camera so we can do some really cool shots on the channel now. I'll have to practice with it. I tried it out just on a mealworm, like a small mealworm, and it was really, really epic. Like you've got, you've got to get the angle right, but it'll be awesome. Hiya Lewis, you all right mate? I started something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should get yourself some tarantula socks, man. And then I've got uh, this one as well. Book about isopods. Obviously, something that I'm I'm getting into. The views on YouTube on my isopod videos are rubbish, but I don't care about that because I enjoy keeping them. And I see the hobby growing massively right now. And I reckon if anyone wants to get ahead of the times, isopods might well be a way forward. So. Yeah, this book's really cool. We've got anything from like the really large old school isopods, aquatic isopods, but um, I'm really excited to get through this book. 
really excited. If my internet goes funny, guys, it's because they're streaming in there. Um, so it might be a bit dodgy. Uh, Scott, it was the Raynox two, DCR 250. That's the 250 one. Uh, Reese is ready. Wicked. Oh, and... Oh, a few of you have had that book. Oh, I'm glad. Looks like it's worth a read then. So I like that author anyway. I'm trying to collect their books, but uh, some of them are not cheap, are they? But I want to try and build up the full collection of their works, as it were. Merry Christmas to you too. I can't believe there's uh, 14 of you on here. I th I th honestly, I didn't think anyone would join, um, which would have been fine by me. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm not lonely, you just want to see Sam's beautiful face on Christmas Day. <laughs> Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas, Scar. Come on, guys, start spilling some beans. Let's hear what you got for Christmas. Put them in the chat. Share with one another what you had. Oh, thank you, Lewis. As I said, I've got nothing in the works to talk about here. Just, just here for everybody. Oh, Scott, you became a member. Oh, thank you very much, man. That's very, very kind of you. I appreciate that. I'll be popping you in the uh, the group a little bit later. The only annoying thing is I only just edited my outro to put in all the names. So now I have to re-edit that outro because of you. <laughs> no, I'm only joking, it's fine. Quarter past ten at night. Wow. It's, uh, I don't even know what time it is here. Nearly twenty past two. Spider shop voucher, you can't go wrong with spider shop vouchers. What about some of you other people then? What else is there? 13 of you here. Oh, yeah, internet's gone sketchy. Do apologize. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas to you too. That's a good list, Lewis. Yeah, you love your fishing, don't you? So that's a pretty good buy for you. Um, I would have took you up to see the animals, but um, the internet up there is even worse than what it is in here. So, like, it would be awful, basically. You'd have a really hazy screen and it would be all... I mean, it might be juttery to you guys now, I don't know. But uh, it would be ten times worse if I went up there. So Scott got a hundred quid just spent at the spider shop. Ah, you picked up the Sano ones, wicked. Thank you, Scott. Yeah. Get into isopods, guys, all of you. Thank you, Sam, for coming on to spend some time with us today. I'm sure it will make many people's day special. Ah, oh, thank you very much. I'm surprised you're on here. You should be going and having fun. Having fun with your family. You don't have to worry about me, dude. You enjoy your day. Not for you, Lewis, the isopods. Oh, that's, that's fine, man. To me, they're like, uh, it's almost like collecting gemstones. Not that I collect gemstones, but some people do and you can get so much colour variety it's really cool give some someone some extra some material some very nice you cannot go wrong with them i love that species i mean i've given away a lot of my uh, phasmid collection i think i'm only keeping three species now but i will build that back up again in springtime oh i'm glad to see you too mate Glad to see you two. You want to share with, with the people here your epic Christmas present? Or are you just leaving that for people to find out? 
because uh, Kelly got a wicked Christmas present from. Oh, I keep I keep disconnecting. I'm so sorry, guys. I love all the different colorations you can get. Chocolate log stick insects. I don't know which ones they are. I'm not very good with the common names of, of fast moods. Is it uh, one of the dares, maybe? So there we go. If everyone reads uh, Kelly's comment, got a new 4K Sony video camera. So if you're not subscribed to Critters and Creations, make sure to subscribe because she's about to up her game massively. And because we share a very, very similar camera, my awesome new macro lens will also attach to her camera. So when it's more COVID safe and we can hang out more, uh, she can have a little go with some macro footage as well. I think it'll be kind of cool to see some of her uh, snails maybe with a bit of macro footage on. Try and get a, a real shot of snail eyes or something. I haven't seen anything like that, like myself. So I think that would be cool. Have a look at the gradients of a shell. I think it'll be really, really wicked. Uh, no problem, Scott. Thanks for popping on and thanks for becoming a member, dude. I really, really appreciate that. Have a wicked Christmas and I'll speak to you soon, my friend. What else have we got? Uh, HD Arachnid so far. I've gotten a gift card to my favourite sushi place. Ah, very nice. Um, from my daughter. Been a rough couple of days otherwise. Father isn't doing well. Trying to keep the spirits up. I'm really sorry to hear that about your father, man. Um, it's, it's not good over the, this time of year. Well, it's not good any time of year, but especially over Christmas when you're having to worry about somebody. Um, as for sushi, I'm not a fan myself, but my 10 year old absolutely loves sushi. Absolutely loves it. Uh, Latin name, ah, oh, the, the Des Philippines. Yeah, oh, cool. Yeah, they're, they are a wicked, wicked species. Do you know what, uh, Lewis? I haven't actually kept them myself, believe it or not. I've seen them in other people's collections, but I never actually owned them. So maybe in the future. Uh, how's my hangover? Uh, it's all right, actually. I felt I feel a little bit swimmy. I've got a headache. Um, the headache's the only thing that's uh, bothering me, really. But it's not bothering me enough to ruin my day. I'm having an absolutely wicked day. How was your day, anyway? What did Tammy get you? I got. I had a few other gifts. A really cool gift off Kelly, but I got that one early. Um, one of them type of catchy type things to stop all the little forehead flies and fruit flies, and they fly into the UV light, and then they get caught inside and they can't escape. And that has been a massive help up in the realm. That's wicked. Really wicked gift. I've kept that on. It's got a smart mode, so it comes on. The light comes on when the light fades here. So the UV light comes on when our light fades. So I just leave it permanently on that smart mode and it sorts the room right out. Although there is one weird funky smell coming from the realm. And I thought it was a bit of uh, rotten veg that I'd left in with my dairy cow. So I took that out and it's been a, two days now and there's something still funky smelling there. So oh, I hope nothing's died. I mean, I did a full feed yesterday of like 90 percent of the inverts and nothing was dead there but you know that that smell of death like i don't i'm trying to work out what it is maybe there's a mouse under the floorboards or something so where else have we got to uh pretty good not alone just here for the live stream ah oh, thank you well you're more than welcome to be here anytime um got me boxes and a support cushion <laughs> I got boxes too, actually. They weren't spider ones, though. Appreciate the calm words. Who's sushi fan myself? Oh, sorry. My it doesn't keep my comments up for very long. Close to the wife at a particular sushi bar, so holds a special place. Ah, oh, that's awesome, man. That's really, really awesome. You got to have these sentimental moments in life. I think they're important. I bought uh, bought my mum this candle, right? <laughs> 
in a big glass jar, kind of like a Yankee candle, but not not branded. Oh my God, I've never smelled a candle so strong in my life. We put it outside, that's where I keep looking. Actually started burning it off outside because you can still smell it in here from out there. You you don't even have to light it and you open it in the house and oh Jesus, it's like a pine type smell. Really strong, never smell a candle that strong in my life. Sorry, I think it cut off again. Merry Christmas. I'm sorry about the quality of this live cutting off all the time, everyone. But uh, nothing I can do about it, I'm afraid. Uh, dead feeders is a possibility. I have a feeder shelf, though, and the smell doesn't appear to be coming from my shelf of feeders. It's really strange. Like yeah, starting pine yeah. needle strong. <laughs> My wife would love that. Yeah, ridiculously strong. That's my mum, by the way, on the phone. No doubt, if she comes back in, you'll watch her walk into something because she can't see very well. <laughs> She's always walking into things. It's hilarious. But yeah, that candle is wickedly strong. We've still got eight people on, wow. Eight people on Christmas day, who'd have thought it, eh? Honestly, I expected to uh, be walking around and then just keep checking on my phone and occasionally get one person or something, but uh, no, you're all, you're all here. Uh, Merry Christmas to you, Kelly. Absolutely loved the gift. You have a really, really good day. Thanks for popping on and saying hello to everyone. I appreciate that, my friend. Take care. Honeycomb wax designed as bees. That's wicked, man. Really cool. So has anyone got New Year's resolutions? Anyone want to talk about New Year's resolutions? I don't really talk about mine. I don't have resolutions as such. Um, I've got channel goals. And I talk about that in a big update video I'll put in for the new year. So I won't be talking about that now, really. Um, but obviously, as you saw with the book of isopods here, this is going to be something I'm going into quite heavily in the year. I think I've been just really enjoying keeping them. Um, they're so simple as well, or most of them are so simple. It's just this great, absolutely great. Uh, where I'll be in the comments. Oh, yeah, candles. Yeah, Lewis. Yeah, the honeycomb candles. That's wicked, man. Uh, 40 degrees there, is it? I couldn't even tell you what it is here. Let's cut down on the old Jamaican stuff. That's my New Year's resolution. <laughs> It'll do you good, man. It'll do you good. Yeah, I... I uh... I, st I stopped on that a fair few years back now and I actually, most people say you won't notice any difference or whatever, but I actually did, uh, speaking from experience, so, yeah. You know what, we've got food cooking right now and I'm really hungry, <laughs> I'm really, really hungry. I can't wait to tuck into that. I'll get my daughter tomorrow, so I'm going to have basically a second Christmas all over again where she gets to open her presents, so that's going to be going to be a good day for me tomorrow. You don't do resolution, what's cooking? Just a turkey, not a full one either, because there's only three of us in this household. Um, but we have still done all the pigs and blankets and various other things. So, yeah, it's going to be a load. I'm not actually taking part in the cooking this year. I'm just sitting back and, and relaxing, to be honest. I have rules and I like to break rules. <laughs> Pigs in black. I could eat them every day. Wouldn't be very good for me, mine, but I could. I'm trying to think what else to talk about, because as I said, I didn't really expect people to show up, so... Um, yeah, don't know about ideas. Oh. Hello, do you want to wave at the people? 
Yeah, they, they can hear you, by the way. And that's all right. So we got some people celebrating tomorrow too. That's cool. Calling of dairy cows. Yeah, I've actually upped my game with those dairy cows, so I need to kind of re-release another video with them. Um, but if you follow all the ice pod videos coming up through December, uh, you can follow those rules with the dairy cows as well, and it will enhance them even more. They are awesome. Oh, brisket. I had brisket in ages. Should be done smoking around seven or so. Wow. Very nice. Still looking forward to trying out this lens a bit more. I've only tried it on uh, to test that it worked on some mealworms and I was well chuffed with just that. So be really good for the isopods, be really good for some detail work on some of the tarantulas. Yeah, wicked. So these lenses are like, uh, you see Mark's tarantulas work, fantastic uh, Juba. He uses one of these as well to get some of his more detailed macro shots. So I'm really excited to try that out. Merry Christmas to you, my friend. Thank you for popping on and saying hello. Doing well at breeding springtails. I actually stopped doing that. I used to do uh, springtail breeding to start putting them in all the enclosures, and for some reason, I think I actually forgot about a colony for ages. And they, I think they're still actually going now, but I don't, I don't do a lot with them. I should do. I need to get back into keeping them. I mean, they even survived me uh, a dry spell, which really shocked me. So I think it was just because it was still a uh, wet patch underneath. You don't do a traditional Christmas dinner, that's fair enough. So. I think I've mentioned it in a video, or if I haven't, I do mention it in a video. I think I mentioned it after Christmas, but this was my gift to myself. I got myself a Rode microphone. So, we'll have better audio as well on the channel. And I'm quite chuffed with that. Um, that should certainly help. It's not like what you see now, this is just off my phone. These lives are off my phone. Still can't work out how to use yours. Are we talking about the lens or are we talking about the, ca or the microphone? So I didn't look. For the lens, you just it just clips on. You screw one bit into the adapter, and the adapter clips onto the edge, and then you just kind of like give a little bit of a zoom to get rid of the circular black part, and then just you've got to be really really steady with it though. And that's the hard part, keeping it really steady. Uh, HD never bought it, spring tails, but they showed up fast enough in the enclosures. Yeah, yeah, I seem to find that as well. Especially around the water dish. Always find them around the water dish. And when I had a, the last time I found a dead tarantula, um, I can't remember when that was, a while back, it was loaded in spring tails. And they were definitely spring tails, not mites or anything. But they, they'd swarmed this, uh, this tea. It was quite horrible to see actually. It was quite upsetting but um, I never did know what happened to that tarantula either because it was fine one day and it wasn't the next. Weird but it, I don't know how old it was either though because it was an adult. Uh, you got to go now. No worries man. Thank you very much for joining. Merry Christmas to you and your family dude. You take care. This one's just a clip on one, so I just find if you zoom a bit first, when I played around with the mealworms, I just zoomed a bit first to get rid of the outer circle and then it was fine. 
you just got to hold it quite close. Not as close as you would with like a phone macro lens, but still fairly close to what you're recording. But it's wicked. Take care, dude. Merry Christmas. How are we doing for time? How long have I got left? Right, you guys have got me for about 20 more minutes before I, I go to eat. So if there's anything anyone would like to say or anyone would like to talk about. So we've got uh, seven people in here at the moment, according to my device anyway. I know sometimes they're a bit delayed from one to another, so you guys might see different to me. But mine showing, oh, drop to six. There we go. On my tarantula socks, but I also don't want to because then they'll get dirty. <laughs> do you do a live stream? Yeah, I'm happy to do that. The problem with me though is I work five days a week and then I have two days a week with my daughter, so finding the time frames between is really really difficult. So when I do my filming, I have to juggle it either late at night when my kids are asleep or I have to do it between shifts. But sometimes I only have like an 11 hour gap between some shifts. So by the time I'm home, slept, I'll leave an hour and a half before I start a shift. I'm not even getting eight hours sleep between. So it's, I'm a really difficult person to fit in around time frames. Um, but if we get locked down again, like my work wasn't locked down for the last lockdown, but it wasn't the first. If my work reduces hours or we get locked down again, then I'll have some more free time. Ah, oh, look at that. Sorry, I cut off again. Um, it probably would, yeah. I try not to do it on normal videos. I don't actually know, but I would presume, yeah, that advertisements may come up less for anything bad habit-wise. Um, but when it comes to live streams, I don't really use my live streams to make any mon to make money like this one this one's all for you guys and i'll leave monetization on because it's automatically on i'd have to physically turn it off per video if i wanted to do that so i do leave it on but i don't do these ones to to make anything really um they're just for me having a natter but in a normal video i would i would guess it probably would affect it yeah and it probably would affect the, the live too but as i said i don't care <laughs> don't care about the lives um, I try not to do it in my normal videos because I've got a lot of younger audiences um, but I don't normally get the younger audiences in on my lives so um, yeah it's not so bad but better than, than smoking I suppose <laughs> Thing is, I'm puffing on this a lot because I'm still on Nick Salts and I'm on 20 milligrams because I still have a quite a high nicotine nicotine addiction. Um, but I'm on my emergency juice at the minute, which is only three milligrams, so I've dropped from 20 to three since last night. I've got a little bit left of my 20 in here. In fact, was that what I just put in? I can't remember. But I've got a little bit left in this one which is my 20 gram one which I wanted to use just for this the rest of this evening but I had been using the three and that's been quite difficult for me but such is life eh and this particular bait by the way if anyone wants to give up smoking this this one here with whatever it says on that says is it inner king on one side and adept on the other whatever brand and that is, like, I don't really know. Uh, this is the first one I've ever used that helped me stop. I've been through about three or four different vape devices before this, and all of them ended up in the bin. Um, all
Uh, my flavour is blue raspberry at the minute, but I also like pink guava. I like the guava one. Oh, sorry, my comments weren't coming through, so I'm scrolling back now. Uh, also, a fatal phone three, basically the same process to be a contestant. Yeah, there's going to be a fatal phone three Facebook group. I'm not actually sure if it's out yet or not. Um, and on the 20th of January, they're taking names, but it's not run by me this year. I, it's run by Amy from Pet Rock and Roll. She's the new host for Fatal Fangs because I want to take part and I'm sick and tired of the stress of it, really. But it, I want the idea to continue on. So I'm allowing her to host. I'm helping her manage it, but without seeing people's clips. I'm not going to be involved in anybody's clips because I want to take part. But I'm going to help her with how I organised it and things behind the scenes so she doesn't get too stressed. Uh, tips on beginners for dark frogs, I don't, I'm afraid. Amphibians and reptiles are, are not, not what I keep, so I actually have no knowledge on them whatsoever. There are a few YouTubers that do have a lot of knowledge, though. So, um, if you go and check out quite... Well, yeah, just look around the kind of community as a whole, and you'll be able to find someone with dark frogs, I'm sure. Saw the past the shirt, yeah. So, um, yeah, I just didn't, I just didn't want to do it anymore myself. I, I always planned on passing on when I got rid of the faults, because I didn't want to pass on a faulty tournament for somebody else to have to deal with. Um, but it was finding the right person, and she did a lot of right by me, and I couldn't have done number two if it wasn't for her. So, I felt it was time to move on. But yes, I know she wants to take names from the twentieth of January. And they'll be all done through Fatal Fangs 3 Facebook page. And if people don't have Facebook, she's also going to put something on Instagram. So you'll have your choices there. Oh, thank you very much. It, it was difficult, but a lot easier than the first one. A lot easier than the first one. And we've still got the bonus round to go, guys. And I'll tell you what, right? I shouldn't be telling you this, but I received uh, Richard's clip from the Tarantula Collective for the bonus round. And I'll tell you what. Even if you're not a fan of Fatal Fangs, when that video goes out, watch it. Because I was bloody mind blown by it. And that's all you're getting from me. But that clip is so worth watching. So uh, when that video comes out, i just got to wait. Because obviously Kelly won and she needs time to prep a clip. And with Christmas and everything, I'm going to aim for a New Year's special. But I can't promise there'll be one. And now she's just got a new camera for Christmas. Anything she may have pre-recorded to try and use, she's going to want to do again on the new camera. So I might have to delay when that battle comes out. Um, but it'll definitely be one worth watching. Definitely. Right, how long have we got, guys? we got 15 more minutes to have a little chat. Um, I'm also... I'm not very good at writing my private messages, especially on Christmas. Um, I'm a busy guy, I have my notifications turned off, but if anybody does need to contact me, you can still private message me. I can't guarantee you'll get a reply quickly, especially with it being Christmas Day and all, but you can you can try. Um, if you're, especially if you're lonely or anything at Christmas, I'll do my best to get back to you. Um, okay, so yeah, I know there was, it was, it was awkward. Basically, because there were so many people to deal with when you got into the first ones, if things weren't followed through the Facebook group to a T. I, I ended up having to just wipe out anything that didn't come through within deadlines and things put up by that group. And the reason being was I just could not contact 32 people continuously or the original idea of 64. It was far too much work. So when you get into this number three page, make sure all notifications are turned on because that page we're going to be doing it really strongly so there's going to be um uh tips hints and tips on how to do your angles hints and tips on things that judges have kept eyes out for there's going to be so much stuff dedicated to helping contestants be at their best for this year and it will be probably clearer written because i'm not the best at explaining things and amy's better than me so but any issues is you've got to contact her this time because i won't be able to be much help um, because I'm trying to only be involved on the times that she absolutely needs me. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. 
can you oh right where are we i'm missing some comments can you say whether or not you may or may not have used the new macro lens he got oh i don't i don't know actually um possibly there were some cracking shots whether they were quite macro shots or not i don't think they weren't like super super macro so maybe not but there were some high quality good close-up clips um there was like one part of that video without giving too much away there was something that you could not have planned like there was one one particular part of it that was just must have been pure luck or patience one of the two because to have that happen in that clip that part of that clip was just insane and i was like you can't stage that you just can't like it's bloody incredible really really incredible never really noticed how big these hats ever are because they flop down if you pump your hat up quite high a little like a gnome see your fishing rod he does make crazy videos yeah he's a very talented man very very talented man i don't know how he finds the time for it all either not a clue but Oh wow, I'm getting <laughs> I'm getting so many messages coming through here now. I've got uh, two Facebook messages. Um Is that smoke? No, it's vapor. It's uh, a vape device. So anyone anyone joining this one, this this live was literally just here for no one to be alone at Christmas. So people had the chance to gather and have a conversation with each other. But it's only going on till 3 p.m. because that's when I have my family time to sit and, and eat together. So I look at what I think is my best stuff and it looks like child's work. Thing is, everybody doubts their own work anyway. Everybody. And the good thing about even if tips, because we're gonna discuss ways that you don't need expensive equipment to get the best shots. Obviously, high quality video and things is always gonna have an impact. It's always gonna make your work look better. But with the hints and tips that we're gonna try and bring out um it's going to show you how you can do things with just a mobile phone and a lamp for example like we're going to try and help people be able to up their feeding video game without necessarily having anything expensive or anything like complicated so and that will help people with videos in general as well because it, it, a lot of people I think they struggle and once they can realize that there's such simple things you can do to get a good angle or a good shot I think it will just benefit channels uh, amazingly whether they take part or not and that's another thing we want to do we want to unite people um, as a as a community and so by learning off one another on these tactics and things can really help a channel I mean I've learned so much just from watching other people so Oh, well, good luck with that. Thank you very much for joining. It means a lot. And it's nice to have people come in together here for a Christmas chat. So thank you. You have a wonderful, wonderful day. It's on 30. And I'm not drinking today. Well, I'm drinking, but I'm drinking tea teas and coffees and juices today i had a few drinks last night bit of headache today and um drinking on actual christmas has never really been a thing for me um i'm not against it I'm not for it it's, there's nothing there it's just just not me like uh i like to remember my certain special days of the year and i know full well if i have too much i ain't gonna remember it <laughs> Take care, Lewis, man. Thank you very much for joining. Merry Christmas, buddy. So, guys, we've got eight minutes. Anything anyone wants to say, whether it's to me or to each other, 
you can watch yourselves if you like just blurt it out if anyone wants to link their own youtube channels as well you are more than welcome to do so here i'm not the type of guy to go wait this is my channel no advertising your own you want to link your channels to each other or tell each other what your channels are about you've got you've got the opportunity to do it right now but you only have those eight minutes and then i've got to shoot guys uh, what is this about? So this is about people that are alone at Christmas, having someone to talk to. That's all this live is here for. This we can we've talked about inverts earlier in the live, but this isn't about showing any animals. This is about people not feeling alone at Christmas time because it's been a hard year. So it's just a way for people to come in and chat to one another. That's all this live is about. It's not about the bugs, I'm afraid. myself really we're down to uh six minutes six minutes and then i'm gonna go and eat some turkey get fat full and fall asleep i hope this live has helped people be able to connect at christmas i think a lot of you have had people but it's still nice that you came on board to say hello um because there's some people that have been been silent in this chat and perhaps they were alone this christmas and you know just by having something to read uh face on the screen can can change somebody's day I think that's really, really important, especially with a lot of people been suffering due to the world's condition. Um, a lot of people have felt lonely. Uh, mental health is on the rise in a negative way. So we've got to do something. We've got to give something back. Your latest short is your best clip so far. Is that one that's already on your channel or one that you've got to put up? Because if it's already on your channel, I'll check it out after I've eaten. Uh, hello hipster how are you we're actually going to be ending this live in five minutes my friend um, thanks for coming on we're just just here to talk really so that nobody's alone this Christmas okay HD Arachnids I will check out your short once I've eaten if you don't receive a comment that's because I would have put it on on the telly so don't think I haven't watched it just because you might not receive a comment um, if the telly's taken, then I'll go on my phone. But I, I like to watch a lot of YouTube on the big screen, which is why a lot of people get don't get comments from me. Um, I'm not being rude. I just like to watch it on the big screen, that's all. And then I kind of like let it play over to the next video, to the next video, then I'll type something. Right, what have we got left here? Still in five minutes. You watch the rest of the stream later. Yeah, that's fine. You're welcome to. There's not a lot to watch, though. Don't feel like you have to. All we did was talk presents and just talk amongst each other to keep each other sane for Christmas Day. Oh, uh, yeah, they should add that feature. Or maybe they have and we just don't know how to do it. I don't know. I don't know. But, um, yeah, that's definitely a thing. A lot of people are starting to watch on the big screens more now. And a lot of people seem to think that someone is not watching because they don't comment, um, which is is difficult to try and explain, really. But uh, yeah, you folks can know that if I've got stuff going on in the background, that's why I don't comment. It's only when I sit. At, the only times your people get comments from me is usually just before work or just after work or on a break. If I happen to be watching anything, I always go into work, have a coffee before I start for a little while. Um, Sometimes I'll have another coffee before I go home, depending on how late it is, and that's the times that I'm watching on my phone and I tend to comment before or after shifts. Other than that, don't really go on on my phone. Right, we've got three minutes left, so I'm going to start wrapping this up um, now. So thanks each and every one of you for joining. Um, you've been a part of something special, I think, and a part of helping other people feel better at Christmas. I wish you all a very happy and healthy and safe new year for 2021. Um, don't let any of it get you down. I know it's tough times. I know it is. And it's so easy to say, don't let it get you down. But just remember, people care, right? People care, okay? And there's a lot of people in this world 
so that means there's a lot of people that do care so let me just read these last bits before I go uh, just before I go in regards to that fire huntsman that one didn't last long he's already gone he was a mature male um, and they're a really difficult species to have uh, the Lunula though that is like a dream huntsman to me that's a wicked one to have so anyway I'm going to be off ladies and gentlemen as I said before and say it again thank you very much for joining Merry Christmas Happy Safe New Year I'm going to be ending it now oh I dropped something so take care maybe I'll flip it wow I cannot remember where the end stream button is what's this one Nope, not that one. Oh my god. I've literally lost the end stream button. <laughs> damn you, YouTube. Damn you, YouTube. Literally, there's no button to end a stream anymore. I've got rotate camera look at comments and uh, take a photo oh well I'll just